what's up guys welcome back and uh, today I am making a new video on one more room which I have found on XDA that is Pure Nexus project and uh, that is a unified room both for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T so guys if you have OnePlus 3 and uh, OnePlus 3T you can install right now I am installing on OnePlus 3 and uh, you can see my device is running on open beta version 15 and device name is OnePlus 3T Android version 7.1.1 so guys to install that room you just have to download the file uh, from the description below that is one of one is the room file and other one is the google app package so both the links direct links i have mentioned you can use uh, any of them and uh, to install that make sure you have twrp recovery installed and your device should be uh, unlocked so let's start with the installation process and uh, after that uh, we'll be showing you uh, what are the features available in that so first reboot to TWRP recovery. So once a device boots to TWRP recovery, you just have to do a complete wipe. So you select uh, everything excluding uh, internal memory. And once it is done, we go back and I locate those files. You can see uh, this is the main room file that is Pure Nexus uh, OnePlus 3 and other is uh, Google App Package. So first what we do is, first we'll install the main uh, ROM file. So after it is done, we go back and we install the Google package. And now installation process has been completed. So we just reboot our device and we'll wait for the device to reboot now. And once the device boots up, you just have to complete the initial process. And now once the process uh, installation process and the initial setup has been complete uh, you can see it has a live wallpaper uh, already installed on this and it uh, almost looks similar to uh, nexus devices which are based on android 7 and many things available in this uh, it also supports substratum theme first we'll go to settings and we'll see uh, on which version it is based on we go below and we go to about and you can see Android version 7.1.2 and it has a security patch of April 5th and uh, now we again go back and first we'll check whether the camera is working properly because many of the people uh, complains about the camera it doesn't work so we just click on camera and give the permission and the camera is working fine in this if you take a photo yes no issues about camera so And it also supports uh, the app shortcuts which are uh, available on Nexus devices. And if you slide towards your left, you get the stories of uh, from Google. And uh, it is also similar to Nexus device. Uh, this was first implemented in Nexus devices. So now let's take a look uh, what all uh, things are available uh, in this room. So I can see one application which is Equalizer. This is uh, you can use for speakers, headphones. If you are, uh, if you love music, you can uh, adjust accordingly. And uh, now we go to settings and see what are the customization options available here. So you have an option in settings that is room control. In this, you have a few option interface, buttons, system. So under interface, you have lock screen lock screen you get few items over here double tap to sleep anywhere so you can double tap to sleep anywhere on the lock screen so next option you have is lock screen torch if your device is locked you can just press this button hold press and hold this button you will uh, be able to uh, on the torch or the flashlight media art if uh, you get uh, media art on the lock screen that you can enable or disable accordingly lock screen charging information so if you want charging information how much is the input uh, given by your charger or uh, the charging speed uh, what you're getting so this that also you can enable over here under this you have a secure lock screen option scramble layout you have lock screen pin ripple you have fingerprint authentication fingerprint unlock and this is a good option which they have got into this uh, room you reboot your device and you are uh, once the device is on you always have to get an uh, uh, option to uh, 
use your password not your fingerprint that you have set but you can enable this and in this if you reboot your device it will unlock using your fingerprint itself you don't have to use any password or pin so next you have notification drawer in this you have quick pull down smart pull down advanced quick settings easy toggle brightness slider vibrate on touch disable quick settings quick setting tiles so you have quick setting tiles over here you can uh, Increase the number of columns, number of rows in Patriot and number of rows in landscape mode. Quick settings, header, you can customize, dynamic or you have few options static. And uh, again if you go back you have uh, status bar, status bar, under status bar you have battery settings. You can change accordingly, you can put, use as text and uh, you have career label clock settings, network traffic also can be enabled from here, double tap to sleep, this you can enable if you double tap anywhere on the screen, the device gets logged, show notification count, this also you can enable, you will get the notification count in your status bar, so next heading to buttons, you have hardware keys and here you can disable navigation keys, you can disable the navigation keys over here and you have few options, uh, single tap action, long press action, double tap action. So these are the button options which are normally available in Oxygen OS also. And uh, after that, in buttons uh, you also have a volume rocker options. So in this also you have few options like volume button wake up. You can select this and if your device is locked, you just have to press the volume button to uh, wake your device up. Many options available in this like uh, RR rooms and uh, Next you have system, system on a system you have display option, in this you have expanded display, wake up unlock, three finger screenshots, notification, uh, LED controls, so you can select your custom colors over here and uh, next you have media and notification, double tap for camera vibrate, power notification control, media and notification control, you have uh, miscellaneous controls, Vibrate in this you have boost icons, scrolling caches, in call vibration options also you have vibrate on connect, vibrate on call waiting, vibrate on disconnect. So and the last option in systems you have uh, pure nexus update. I am not sure whether uh, you will be able to install the updates using this uh, OTA uh, option available in the settings. Let's see if I get any update. Uh, on this I will advise you guys and uh, these are the options available in this device guys uh, if you want to try this ROM if you want to have an experience of uh, Nexus devices you can install this ROM so that's all in this video guys uh, hope you like the video if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel and uh, I'll be getting you new videos every week and uh, thanks for watching, have a great day ahead.